Hi, I'm Albert Einstein and welcome to my crib. I may not look like a real person because I died on April 18th, 1955 at age 76. I reincarnated into this sock with an American accent, the only purpose to teach. All right, on to the good stuff. I was born on March 14th, 1879 in Alm, Germany. My father was an engineer who owned a company that manufactured electrical equipment based on direct current. As a boy, I had to move around a lot because of my dad's struggling career. I ended up in Switzerland where I got permission from my father to renounce my German citizenship so I could avoid getting drafted for the military. At age 16, I attended a Swiss school where I excelled at mathematics and physics. I fell in love with my only female classmate, and we later married and made two beautiful babies. After 11 years of marriage, my family left me because of the realization that I was in love with my cousin, Elsa. I became a divorcee, but soon married my cousin later that year. We emigrated to the U.S. in 1933, but my love died three years later because she had heart and kidney problems. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is getting emotional for me. I need to step out. Hello, it's Albert again. Welcome to my kitchen. Sorry about the sadness earlier. Regarding my research, I was a busy man. I was a theater theoretical physicist. I developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics. I am also, also widely known for the formula I created. E equals mc squared. This is called my mass energy equivalence formula because it basically shows that anything having mass has an equivalent amount of energy and vice versa. As I have become to realize, my formula has been dubbed the world's most famous equation. Excuse me for bragging. Another one of my accomplishments was receiving the Nobel Peace Prize in physics. I was given this award for my services to theoretical physics, and especially for my discovery of the law of photoelectric effect, which was a pivotal step in the evolution of quantum theory. The photoelectric effect is basically the emission of electrons or other free carriers when light is shown onto a material. Another theory I created, I know, it's a lot, is the theory of relativity. I soon realized after developing this theory that it could be extended to gravitational fields. With all these new ideas along with my subsequent theory of gravitation, I published a paper on general relativity. With my general theory of relativity, I modeled the large scale structure of the universe. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. So, along with my life. I was visiting the United States when Adolf Hitler came to power in 1933 but being Jewish, I did not go back to Germany, where I was a professor at the Berlin Academy of Sciences. That would have been just very dangerous. I settled in the U.S., becoming an American citizen in 1940. On the eve of World War II, I endorsed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, alerting him to the potential development of new powerful bombs and recommending that the U.S. begin similar research. This eventually led to the Manhattan Project. I supported the Allied forces, but did not agree with them using the newly discovered nuclear fission as a weapon. I signed a manifesto which highlighted the danger of nuclear weapons. Hello. Welcome to my favorite and last spot in my crib, my bed. So, back to my life, in the last portion of my life. So I published more than 300 scientific papers along with 150 non-scientific works. Because of all my achievements and originality, the word Einstein has been, made, has been made synonymous with the word genius. I love science, and I am humbled that I was blessed that science loved me back. I hope you enjoyed this video about my life. I love you all.